Hi students, in this video Solids 4, we are going to draw a con, a con lying on one of its generators with axis parallel to it. What is the generator of a con? Generator of a con is a line connecting the apex to any point of the base circuit. How many generators are there for a con? Infinite number of generators. When we draw a con, it is always better to take 12 points on the base circle so that the accuracy will be more. So let us draw the symbol position. What is the symbol position? Make the cone standing on HP on its base. Then simply tilt to the apex so that it lies on the ground. Lies on the ground on a generator. Agree? Okay. The cone can be say 5 cm diameter and say 6 or 7 cm axis. I have taken 12 points on the circumference of a of the cone, base of the cone. How do I do that? Take the protractor at the center, draw a horizontal line first. Keep the protractor at the center, mark at 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 120 degrees, 150 degrees. Then with your scale, draw. Don't draw through, throughout lines. Drawing the lines throughout is not necessary. In many textbooks, they have drawn all the cross diameters. That is not necessary. You need points on the circumference. That's all. And I name them A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. And axis OP. Draw the elevation. Project all points to XY. Projected through B will pass through L, projected through C will pass through K, projected through D will pass through OP as well as J, projected through E will pass through I, projected through F will pass through H and G as the last project. Okay. N name them. A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash, H dash, I dash, J dash, K dash, L dash. Draw the axis. Connect them. O dash, P dash, OP axis. It is not necessary that you draw all these generators visible. You need not draw all these generators because generators are imaginary lines through on the on the cone. It is not necessary that you draw all of them. You have drawn the plan and elevation. Now, what do you do? Push it so that it lies on HP. When it lies on HP, G dash O dash will come on X variant, isn't it? So what I do is I take G1 dash and O1 dash. This distance. Then take this distance in your compass, draw an arc. Take this the same distance, this distance in your compass, draw an arc. You get You got the con redrawn. Agree? What is this point? This is A1 dash. Mark all the subsequent points. What is this? This is B1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash, E1 dash, F1 dash, G1 dash, H1 dash, I1 dash, J1 dash, K1 dash, and L1 dash, and o, o P1 dash. This is the axis. Axis chain rate. Now what? To suit this elevation, we have to project a new plan. How do you do that? Draw vertical projectors down. Very careful. Very light. Draw horizontal projectors. O1. What are the points here? A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1, G1, H1, I1, J1, K1, 
L1, P1, and then O1. You are looking from here now. Will you see the full base? Yes, you will see firm lines, firm curve. And this ellipse, full ellipse will be visible. My ellipse is not good. If you draw to dimension, it will look good. The full ellipse is visible. What is this? This is a cone lying on one of its generators with axis parallel to VP. Axis parallel to VP. Agreed? If you move it, the axis become inclined to VP. You have to keep it like this. You have to push it. You have to push it, lie on HP and then hold it so that it won't roll. If it rolls, the axis will become inclined to VP. Axis remain need to be parallel to VP. So hold it. It's parallel. Now, one thing you need to remember is don't draw O1 to D1 and J1 directly. Draw a tan to tangents to the ellipse. Because if the axis length is less, if the axis length is less, what happens now? This is the ellipse. If the axis length is less. If you join to these two points, what happens? A portion of the ellipse will go up. Agree? If the axis is considered axis length is considerable, that will not happen. So to avoid that, always draw what? Tangents to the ellipse. That's the correct view. I hope you understand. Now we draw the same question by auxiliary projection method. When you use auxiliary projection method, what is happening? You know, instead of the object redrawing, re bringing to the final position, instead of bringing the object to the final position by redrawing the derivation, instead of bringing the object to the final position by redrawing the derivation, what you do? What you do is bring the HP to the required position so that the condition is satisfied. When you read through it, you knew the generator comes to XY line. By auxiliary, what you have to do? You have to bring the XY line to the generator. You have to bring the XY line to the generator. What does it mean? You have to draw an X1, Y1, X1, Y1. You have to draw an X1, Y1 passing through this generator. Which generator? G dash, P dash, G dash, O dash, G dash, O dash. HP is brought there. Now what you have to do? You have to draw a new plan. How do you do that? Draw projectors perpendicular to x1 by 1. You have to be very careful. 90 degrees are to be maintained. A is this much below xy. Not only A but also O and P and also G. So on the projector through A you locate what? A1. Here G1, here P1, and here O1. Same distance everywhere. Then B is this much below XY, same is the distance of F. So on the projector through B, locate B1, and here you locate F1. Then C and E. C1 and E1, then D, D1, then L and H, L1 and H1, then K and I, K1, I1, next is J, J1, A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1, G1, H1, I1, J1, K1, L1, O1, P1. Connect them. Connect them by a smooth curve.
apex, tangents, axis. New plan. Full ellipse is visible. You are looking in this direction. Now, after drawing it, it is it will be a little bit uncomfortable because the plan is coming on this side. What you need to do? Rotate xy so that xy become horizontal with x on the left side and y on the right side. That's why I marked x1 here and y1. xy, x1, y1 in a horizontal arc and bath in a book in a chill chill here. x left little y right little plan x1 at the other way, elevation x1 to multiple. This is auxiliary projection of the cone lying on one of its generators with axis parallel to VP. Okay. The diameter of the cone can be specified and the elevation uh, height of the cone also can be specified. I have, no, I have not marked the dimension. It can be of uh, any dimension. Agreed? Thank you.